Good morning. Welcome to worship this Sunday, July 18th, 2021. This is Northminster United Church. We gather to celebrate the goodness of God and all of God's creation. Let us give thanks for this opportunity to be together in this time. We also pause to give thanks and remember that as we worship, work and play, we do so on Treaty 7 land. As people who worship an incarnate God, we recognize we too are spirits in flesh. We give thanks for the beauty of creation and our place in it. In the East, we give thanks for the continual dawning of each new day. We give thanks for new beginnings made possible by our Creator. To the South, we give thanks to the light of day. The sun makes life possible on Earth. We give thanks for the gifts God has given to us. The West is the place of the setting sun. We give thanks for patterns letting go. And to the North, we give thanks for the night time with its beauty of stars and moon. May we find our times of rest and ease. And with Christ at the center of our faithful living, we seek to discover the core of our own call from God.
Made in the image of the Creator, every one of us carries within us the capacity to be a mystic, to be creative, to be visionary, and to be an agent for positive change. It is our responsibility to say, here I am, sent me, and to cultivate our capacity to benefit Earth and all its creatures. What are we creating in this world that will cause positive uh, ripples into the future? Let us pray. Creator God, you who breathe your breath into us, inspire us to be who you have created us to be, so that we might offer our best selves to benefit a world that so desperately, desperately needs support hope, life, and joy. We praise you for nudging us into the future you have created for each of us. Amen. For worship this July 18th, let's share together in a short reading by the author Rumi. Dance when you're broken open. Dance if you've torn the bandage off. Dance in the middle of the fighting. Dance in your blood. Dance when you're perfectly free. And our scripture for this morning is Isaiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. In the year of King Uzziah's death, I saw the Lord sitting on a high and exalted throne, the edges of his robe filling the temple. Winged creatures were stationed around him. Each had six wings. With two they veiled their faces, with two their feet, and with two they flew about. They shouted to each other, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of heavenly forces. All the earth is filled with God's glory. The door frame shook at the sound of their shouting, and the house was filled with smoke. I said, Mourn for me, I'm ruined. I'm a man with unclean lips, and I live among a people with unclean lips. Yet I've seen the King, the Lord of heavenly forces. Then one of the winged creatures flew to me, holding a glowing coal that he had taken from the altar with tongs. He touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt has departed, and your sin is removed. Then I heard the Lord's voice saying, Whom should I send, and who will go for us? I said, I'm here. Send me. This is a word of God. Thanks be to God. Welcome to our conversation in my garden, Jean. Oh, thank you, Jean. Wonderful to have you here. <laughs> Beautiful day. Oh, yes. You know, as I was gardening the other day, I heard a jet overhead, taking people here and there, you know, work, business, visits, and I thought, oh, that was such a welcome sound because, because of the pandemic, we haven't heard many, many big planes going over. And then, you know, it made me think of other things that I have missed during this pandemic. I've missed the sound of our neighbors having a barbecue in their backyard. I've missed the sound of everyone laughing and chatting and sharing news at coffee time after Sunday worship. And I've missed going out for breakfast on a Friday and hearing all the sounds in the restaurant and people having a great conversation, getting caught up you know, from business in the week. And, and as I thought about that, it made me think of how all of this is connected, you know? And while I was thinking of that, two little robins were sitting on the edge of my bird bath, arguing about who's going to dip in first. <laughs> And the bees were just having a wonderful time in the dahlias. And the, the scent of the garden was just, you know, this fragrance was so beautiful in the air. And I thought, yes, all of this is connected. I love it in our new United Church Creed when, when one of the most beautiful parts is, we worship our God who has created and is creating. So it is this, this evolution, this ongoing creation story. And 
and God is asking us to be partners in creation and to be stewards of creation and that led me to think about this this series that we're we're talking about you know Matthew Fox the Episcopalian theologian oh he's written some wonderful stuff about creation spirituality and how God is part of all of this everything in the universe is full of God so he I love the way he says creation is the original blessing how we all have to be in this together listen to each other and pay attention I guess maybe yeah Ah, oh, Jean, your your listening is encouraging and so so amazing to to just hear what you how you listen and <laughs> what you see, and uh, I just was part of the uh, Chinook Winds Regions um, stroll stroll oh. for the soul it was called, and it went for a number of days and each time we would get a new message in the morning and it would suggest that we go out and take a pause at our doorstep and then step out into nature. And she asked us to look for the beauty that you were looking for. And she would ask us then to come home and write about it or look for the oh. colors, uh, look for the sounds, the smells. And eventually she started to say, and what does it do for you? In other words, start listening to you. Hmm. Hear what's inside you. And um, I don't know about you, but judging gets into there pretty quick when mm -hmm. I start listening to me. <laughs> and then I got thinking about what Jesus, one of Jesus' main rules was, love your neighbor as yourself. And I thought, hmm, I don't, can't love unless I know. And so therefore, it's really, really important that we do listen. The Absolutely. same as we did to nature, listen to us. Yes. And hear what we are saying and, and be kind and loving and, and get to know. And once you get to know yourself, then you can start to share and looking at others. Mm -hmm. I love the statement you sent me after we, we finished our conversation the other day and then mm -hmm. you sent me this. It's an awareness that we are a unique part of the unity that is the universe. Leads us to greater compassion for ourselves mm -hmm. and for all beings. It enables us to see the beauty of all creation and to become more willing and eager to reach out to others with openness. Mm -hmm. That was a lovely quote, James. It's a Thank good you quote. for sharing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's like, um, well, Matthew Fox says it's um, a spiritual vocation, I guess. Would you, would you call yeah. it that? You oh, know? I think so. Yeah. I think so. And I'm just so, and th so then I got thinking about how what we do in Northminster. Mm -hmm. Right. We really are doing, you know, like when I think about the beach glass that yes. we got and how pretty that was and how we shared as we were talking in the services and, and all of us had this beach glass. Yes, right. I know. Yeah. Love it. Um, you know, I was I was thinking about baby month at Northminster. Oh, yes. Uh, we do that with the Alex Center, which is, you know, it's going to be 50 years old in a couple of years, the Alex Center. They have mm -hmm. been a hub for reaching out to vulnerable vulnerable Calgarians for all those years nice. with health health issues and support of all kinds nice. um, housing issues and our baby month is you know it's a pretty significant part of outreach for us we have many many wonderful ways that we reach out into the community but the, the van gets packed with all <laughs> diapers and and baby food and formula and what you know hand knitted blankets it's the most beautiful gesture really it is. and they love they love to receive our van <laughs> it's you know it's sort of like 
It's a ripple effect, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, we give to them and they give beyond and yeah, so it's wonderful. Yeah, it's like stone it. dropping, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sending out the ripples. I like the music that we've been having during COVID. Oh, yes. I just think that the ripples that are coming up from that are yeah. just, just amazing. It's I great. Just, I do yes, too. Yes, yes. Another thing I love is Supper for the Soul. Oh, yes. And we used to call it church supper, now it's supper for the soul, which is, I think, even more meaningful. Mm. So every, the last Thursday of every month, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. The last Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we invite anyone uh, within yes. the church or within the community beyond to come uh, and be a yes. part of a dinner. Nancy has a lovely little message. We have uh, music. We have, uh, sometimes we do something together, you know, a little, a little uh, activity, always enjoyable because that way you can mix with friends. And you know, it's very meaningful for the people who come, come to this. It's very, it's a special time for them. No, I think she's doing all right then. You yeah, think? I think we're doing very well actually. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Anything else, Jean? Oh, there's just too many. I think we can celebrate this church forever. Oh, I, I do too. <laughs> yes, you know what? We need to celebrate the church. Yes. And I love the way I love the way Mother Teresa said, "Do small things with great love." That's huh. beautiful, eh? It's, yeah. Yes. So that's that's kind of what we're we're about. What we're trying to do, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes. I found a quote here that I, I'd like to share with you. It's. A Vietnamese monk once wrote, Each of us possesses an extraordinary and unique gift, our way of expressing divinity on earth. Uh -huh. When we carry out our daily work with love, with care and mindfulness, we are following the path of truth and peace and justice and bringing peace on earth in a more profound and expansive way that we can imagine. Oh, that's oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs>
into the loving embrace of the Spirit who transforms all things. As we let go and open up, we see that now our hands and hearts are more ready to hold with love the concerns for others and the pain of the world. Breathe in the pain, breathe out the love. Make our hearts be the place where the world is changed forever. We remember and hold with love all the prayers that we have shared with each other this morning. I invite you to place your hands now on your heart. We lift up all those things difficult to put into words and felt, but felt in the depths of our hearts. Each week we will explore a version of the prayer Jesus taught. This week we encounter a version translated by Mark Berry, a young pastor of a church in the UK called Safe Place Space. Let us pray together. O breathing life, your name shines everywhere. Release a space to plant your presence here. Imagine your possibilities now. Embody your desire in every light and form. Grow through us this moment's bread and wisdom. Untie the knots of failure binding us as we release the strands we hold of others' faults. Help us not forget our source, yet free us from not being in the present. From you arise every vision, power, and song, from gathering to gathering. Amen. The love and hope Northminster offers the world is a year-round need. Our ministry continues through the summer and we're already planning for fall. We thank you for your commitment and generosity in making sure our offering reaches the church throughout the summer to cover all of these important needs. Let us pray to bless our offering. God of abundance, we bring the gifts of our lives so that the news of your love may be shared in this world. Receive them as a symbol of all we seek to do and be. Direct us to use these offerings for your glory and the well-being of all. Amen. Coffee continues on Zoom throughout the summer. Mm, good. Drop in for a visit between 11.30 and 12 after church today. And please keep up to date on all our other events and our activities, our opportunities, by reading the weekly email that comes from the office or by following Northminster on social media. Oh, yes. Now for our blessing. This time in our worship leads us out into the world. We pray for movement within our own hearts to embody peace and passion, compassion and power on behalf of spreading goodness throughout the week. We are not at the mercy of the way it is. We can claim our agency to be fully present and fully alive in the world into which we now go. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, it's been so much fun, Jean. Yeah, Thank I you. I loved it. We can go out singing. Bye for now.